or tail of tape for this middleweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hazardous. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Kevin the Trailblazer. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Center in Newark, New Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here, and we got a good UFC fight that coming. Oh, wow. Sports gambling is legal. And John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You'll call in the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Gannick knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will give you a great fight. Brick City, baby. <laughs> Checks that leg kick. Oh, right on the flying knee there. You can't bounce around with him. You gotta get it, get in his face and try to take the fight to him. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Shot there. Attempts the front kick there. Three minutes to go here, round one. Big shot to the body. They're so evenly matched, they're going to the tap. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice jab by Hull. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive right hand to the body. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. You heard him again. 45 seconds remain in the round. That one landed, yep. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Slips. The kick is there to the body. Right. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's get this together now, man. Come on. I need you to wake up. Get out there. You're losing this fight, but I know you can beat him. Get out there, be aggressive. I want you to put it. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other Ready. side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, my goodness. Nice job moving out the way. See 
that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Under three minutes to go round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's going to get an earful for him. tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter, because a fighter never really wants to give you anything. But he can't help himself. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? Third round right underway. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have to... Back to the feet. Oh, stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing the finishing instincts his ability to close the show it was next level it was amazing john All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO Hazardous.
Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.